After I have been wandering for 999 years, I have been finally reincarnated. My previous life can be described in one word. Unlucky. The magnificent king of Zanan's wife was my mother but she died while giving birth to me. I was then forced to spend the rest of my days locked in the capital city forced to spy on my father and the eldest brother. It wasn't easy growing up and after that, I was forced to marry. The wedding night is then used in a plot to kill the king and the eldest brother. In the end, I was unfortunately shot through by an arrow. Fortunately, my luck changed. Not only I was reincarnated into an adorable little dumpling, I have also been blessed with the ability to see people's fates. On top of that Bonnie's father is a famous actor. As long as I continue down this path, I won't have to worry about my future. After describing herself she runs towards the home saying, Baba, your little girl is home. It is well known that since actor Lai Zebai fell into cheating four years ago his popularity has plummeted. In recent years he has been exposed. Many big names have been exposed to him fraudulent donations, abandonment of adopted children, and newcomers saying unspoken things. After listening to that news Lai Zebai says all of you listen up. Everything the news says is true. I am also in a huge amount of debt. I only adopted you to establish an image and I can't afford to support you anymore. So go wherever you three want to go. And one of the kids says hey our surname is Lai do you really want us? Lai Zebai replies to him get lost. Then the other kid says I can stop studying and work to help you. I can be proof. Lai Zebai replies use you as a proof. What are you going to do to drive us away? Unless you three become women. I, Lai Zebai am not an object and can no longer bear the thought of leaving the little love of my life. Then the doorbell rings ding dong ding dong. Lai Zebai says the food is here. Go open the door and leave on your way out. I also don't have no more money to buy you leftover meals. Then the third kid opens the door hello. You are not food. And the little girl who was standing outside the door replied hello little brother. I have come to find my father. Lai Zebai shouts from behind hey what's taking so long. I'm warning you don't you dare steal my food. After listening to the voice the girl runs into the house. Whose child is this? Baba up. Lai Zebai thinks in his mind whose kid is this that she can't even recognize her own father. I have never been with countless beauties however I have never created human life. Then he shouts at kids the lost and found is on the property. While you are going out to bring her over there with you. And he takes the pause. The little girl grabs his legs and makes a cute face and says Baba. Lai Zebai says release me. The girl shakes her head and says Baba is bad. He ran away and won't take responsibility. Lai Zebai holds her up and asks her when was I ever with you and your mom. She replied to him four years ago, in room 1902 of the Wells Hotel. Mama said you ran away without any feeling. Mama also said this is proof. Mama even said that if Baba doesn't believe just give him my hair. After listening to that he picks her up and wraps her on the top of the box. Then the eldest brother says father didn't you say I lie Zebai didn't an object. And that you didn't even want to leave the little love in your previous life. It cost money to raise a sister's dad you have to go to work. I can take care of my little sister while you work. Then the second brother says when the eldest brother is in school. I can protect my younger sister. And the third brother also says me too. I can feed my younger sister. After that Lai Zebai says if this kid is actually my daughter then I will recognize it. The money to raise the three of you is enough for me to hire a many. Then after listening to their father's kids reply to him. The eldest kid says father I don't need you to support me. My scholarship is already enough for that. There is enough for my schooling and the extra can be used to support my sister. Then the second kid says me too. I have a lot of money this month I promise to earn it next month. I can raise a little sister for you too. Lai Zebai asks him why is this money guaranteed? Where do you even make money? The second kid replies him there is a protection fee paid by classmates. It's 50 per person per week and 150 per person per month. The third kid also says I have something too. This was given by Auntie W. Naga fish and shrimp rice and the steamed bun was given by Uncle Yang from the kanji shop and this was. Dad, they said as long as I often try their dishes for them I can eat without pain. So I can take sister to the people's place. And we can eat together every day. So you don't need us to go away. Okay. After listening to all of her brother's little girl says that's very good. I'm so lucky we are children of luck. Ever since I was very young I was destined for good things. Now mama doesn't have to worry about me going hungry anymore. In front of the family's house the next night. Looks like I really do have a secret love. Lai Zebai asks the little girl what's your name. She replies my name is Waijai. I don't have mama's last name so you won't be able to find her. He says I'm not interested in your mother and so I'll give you two choices. Either be my daughter forever and you'll never be able to see your mother again or go back to your. Do you understand? She replies yes. Mama said that Weje and Baba will be together forever. Mama said she won't fight Baba about it so he doesn't have to worry. He thinks in his mind I had never thought that when Gu family was framed, it would also bring me a daughter. She really is cute. Then he asks her where is your luggage? I mean your clothes and shoes, did your mother bring them? She replies I don't have any Mama said that Baba is a very rich person so he will just buy me. I didn't bring it I didn't want it. I don't like the woman who bought it for me. Then Lai Zebai says to his sons we will go to the supermarket. We will buy your sister some new clothes that she will be able to use for tonight. 
This includes a toothbrush, toothpaste, and some milk powder. Remember to buy the best in the shop. Then the eldest brother says let's go quickly. Then my dear little sister would you like to accompany your big brother to the supermarket? Lai Zebai says it's too late for little children to be going out. The kids reply but we are also little children. Then Wai Zhai hugs Lai Zebai and again makes a cute face and says I want to go to the supermarket. And then Lai Zebai gets into thinking and pauses. And then he picks up his daughter and takes her with him. Kids ask from behind Hey Lai, where are you going? Then they go together goes to the supermarket. Before inside Lai Zebai says here's the plan go immediately to the baby supplies area. Make sure you go in and out, quietly without getting recognized. Then the kids reply understood. Lai Zebai thinks this little girl seems quite skilled in pretending. I wonder if her mother is like that too. Never mind, as long as that woman doesn't regret giving her daughter. Why bother when we would have no reason to ever see each other again? The eldest brother tries to find out a towel for her. This looks expensive and of good quality. He picks it up and takes it to his sister and asks her this pink towel looks cute does little sister like it? She replies to him I don't like pink, I like yellow, yellow is the prettiest. He says yes little sister is correct yellow is the prettiest. Then the second brother says perfect, here is your ugly yellow. And throw a t-shirt on her. She throws it back and says no bunnies are white. Then he asks her how would you know what bunnies look like? You are young, you haven't seen the world yet bunnies are usually yellow. Then they stare at each other. After that, she runs towards her father and shouts Bob a little brother bullying me. And then the second brother stops her and pulls her cheeks and says be careful not to wet your bed. Lai Zebai says stop playing around, have you guys gotten the thing already? I have to do something I'll be right back. Then his phone rings a call comes to him. Then he picks up the call. Lai Zebai you still have the mood to go to the supermarket. It seems that you still haven't reached the point of desperation. The child in the cart looks very pretty. Why would she call you dad? Wai Zhai looks up and thinks I wonder what he is thinking. Did Lai Zebai will gonna find out who is the caller and how the caller knows everything about him? To find out just do like, comment and subscribe.